At number three, an extraordinary plane uniquely adapted for long-range warfare. The KC-10 Extender. Origin, USA. Cost, $88 million. Weight, 295 tons. Length, 181 feet. Whether you're a stealth bomber or a long-range fighter, fuel is as vital as firepower. Air-to-air -air refueling is one of those things that the United States does every day all over the world. It extends your range in such a way that no one knows where you're going to go or how far you can go to accomplish a mission. The KC-10 gives U.S. Air Forces virtually unlimited reach. Planes whose fuel tanks restricted them to 400 miles are able to reach out across the globe. The KC-10 allows you to extend your range on any mission to an almost undefined amount. If you wanted fighters, for example, to suddenly show up over Tehran that you launch out of Kansas, you could do that. The KC-10 is similar to the commercial DC-10, but carries upgraded avionics and a customized cargo bay. What you're looking at is the fuselage of a converted airline jet. Where normally your baggage would be placed, we now have replaced it with jet fuel. These three extra tanks and the wing reserves push the plane's refueling capacity up to a massive 178 tons, enough to power any plane to any target on Earth. Mission ready, the KC-10 tips the scales at nearly 300 tons, so getting the giant gas station off the ground takes plenty of muscle. Takeoff power, auto On takeoff, the three high bypass turbofans kick out over 150,000 pounds of thrust and power it through 4,400 miles of airspace. The clinical refueling process is overseen by one crewman. The receiving aircraft, a C 5 Galaxy, closes in at 350 miles per hour. The operator then deploys a 36-foot-long boom and guides it in using a remote-controlled fly-by-wire system. Boom will come down, aircraft move in about 50 feet away, stabilize, then move up, and we'll touch the aircraft with the boom. We can refuel at approximately 1,100 gallons per minute with the boom. The KC-10 is now pumping out enough fuel to fill up a Jeep Wrangler every second, nose to tail, with a 175-ton jet. If that sounds dangerous, that's because it is. We are in contact. We are touching another airplane flying at 23, 25,000 feet. So that gets a little nerve wracking. To minimize risk, the C-5 refuels quickly. I've got six AR pumps that I can use to push fuel off the aircraft through the boom. We can do approximately 8,000 pounds per minute at, at a max offload for a large aircraft. 14 minutes of refueling gives the C-5 enough gas to keep flying for another 1,000 miles. In combat, the KC-10 can tank up anything from a B-52 to a Eurofighter, keeping them flying and in the fight over any distance. Well, how much gas can that tanker give it? Thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, no problem, on the way and on the way back. Suddenly, the ability of that airplane to get there and come back is doubled or tripled or quadrupled. So you can't be sure at all where it's coming from or where it's going. The extender kept the coalition flying through both Gulf Wars. The ability to carry cargo as well as fuel scores for versatility. The KC-10 borrows heavily from an existing design. There is simply nothing else in its class. Overall, the extender takes the number three slot.